Hi, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Danny from The Glittered Rose. You can find me under that name on Instagram and Etsy. I'm so happy to share with you these art tags that I've created. I just love them. So they feature lots of texture and some sort of painterly, watercolory painterly effects in the background. The main focal images are from Stamperia's new collection called Alter Ego. When I saw this collection in person, I knew I had to get a few pieces. <laughs> so I um, jumped in straight away and made something with them. I might do a flip through of the paper, scrapbook paper pad that I've got so you, you can get a feel for um, the images that are in this collection. I personally love this collection. I think it's gorgeous. Um, so this is, I think this one's 8x8, eight eight, so you can get their papers in different um, sizes, but I like this size because it would fit in my smaller art journals well. Um, they're just sort of animals dressed up in um, clothing, sort of leans towards steampunk, but I think they're really cool. So... These die cuts are a printed chipboard, so they, they really make for making a, a 3D sort of a um, tag really easy. I think this project would suit a beginner. I've used my cheap Kmart modeling paste along with some um, Liquitex acrylic ink. If you don't have uh, acrylic ink, you can use uh, watercolor or um, whatever. Um, there are lots of different alternatives that you can use. There's also a little bit of wax in the background. So if this is of any interest, please be sure to stick around, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I really love the comments that I get, so be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite? All right, let's get into it. While I was in my local craft shop, I picked up this new Stamperia um, stencil. It's sort of four stencils in one, but they're really fine. I find sometimes for smaller formats, some of the um, stencils are just too large. But this one's quite nice. It's got um, fine writing and fine details. So I, I grabbed that while I was there. And I think... For these, I'm going to test out my um, modeling paste from Kmart. I didn't, when I tr did it in my last um, video, I didn't test a lot of water with it. So I want to see how it withstands water after it's dry. And the good thing about this modeling paste is that I can heat dry it. So that's a win in my, in my books because I'm not the most patient person. So I'm just scraping this on. I'm also not one to tape everything down. I think by the time you pop a, pop a little bit of paste on, it holds it in place. I don't really see the need to um, need to tape it all down. I die cut these um, tags out of a Tim Holtz tag die. I think it's quite nice. There's a little bit of debossing in the center of it. Um, I just like this. They're a nice big size, but they're um, a little bit wider as well. So I, I'm happy with these dies. I've just die cut it out of um, some... Solar Crest, some Nina Solar Crest white um, cardstock. I'm not worrying too much about this being perfect. I just want a little bit of texture in the background. A lot of it will be covered up, but when I pop my ink on, it will sit around the the um, the texture so 
It's going to pop a little bit down the bottom there. Fill in that space. Perfect. All right, I'm going to clean up everything and then dry off the tags. Okay, so my tags are nice and dry and I've grabbed down some acrylic ink. So for this technique, I'm just popping on a couple of drops and then um, watering it down just to spread it. If you don't have um, acrylic ink, you could use watercolour. Um, you could use re-inkers probably. Um, just something to get some colour on a background. I really love um, the Liquitex inks. They're one of my favourite mediums. So I'm currently using, using Muted Violet and Sepia. And I've also grabbed down Muted Grey. Just be sure if you want to grab yourself some Liquitex inks to shop around. So these muted collection I got fairly cheap from Amazon. Um, I have seen that Montmart, if you can get Montmart where you are, um, has a big set of acrylic inks um, for very cheap, like $18 in Australia. I don't know what they're like, but for this, something like this, they're probably fine. They're a lot brighter colours. I really like the sort of muted, more vintage colours, but I'm sure that they'd be fantastic. You can really um, spray them out. So you can have them a lot deeper or you can water them down with water and have them run. I really love the look of this texture paste. Just, I'm always mindful that I can add, but I can't take away. So just need to be a bit careful with um, the amount of ink that goes on. I don't want it covered with colour, I want to leave some white space, or at least try to. But it's such an easy technique, it's really a great way to add an interesting background without spending hours and hours to try and get something that looks really nice. That's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with that. I think I'm going to dry it off. I'm going to keep those areas white for a change. Okay, so I really want to um, back this on something heavy because the main images are really quite thick and they're going to be layered. So I need something that will um, be sturdy enough to hold those chipboard images. So I've grabbed out some chipboard and I've run it through my die cut machine. <laughs> I had to use a metal plate in my die cut machine to get it through and I popped it in about three times. Um, and it hasn't, I mean, it hasn't cut perfectly, but I'll just trim the edges and um, it's just going behind the tags. So sometimes I think I want a laser mach machine myself so that I can just... <laughs> Cut the chipboard that I want. Okay, I'm going to glue these onto the backs of my tags and then um, we'll do the next bit. Okay, dokie, it's all glued, all dried, should be good to go. So I've just got some wax from Stamperia and I'm going to rub on over that texture paste. So the texture paste isn't actually very high because, you know, it's so fine. So it is going on the background of the um, tags as well, but I don't mind. Just adds a little bit of interest. Just rubbing that on gently. 
pretty impressed with this um, texture paste. It held up perfectly to all the water that I was using, so I'm happy I grabbed a uh, jar. So I'm just rubbing it on. This stuff smells really nice. <laughs> it's so soft too. It's really nice over the um, texture paste. I realize not everybody will have this these supplies. Don't feel like you need to run out and grab them. You can use alternatives. You can use a crayon or just skip this step altogether. This is in brass, this wax. I think it looks quite nice with the the brown sepia. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm making these with my children in mind. So I want them both to be as equally beautiful. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to fight. So I'm just going through my little packet of cutouts and trying to work out how I want these to go. So this stage is just about auditioning. I want to leave some of that gorgeous background visible because it would be a shame to cover it up. Just trying to work out which ones to use. Isn't the mouse sweet? I love the mouse, but I have a feeling that they're both going to fight over the cat. They've got a saying at school, which is you get what you get and you don't get upset. I think I might use that one on them. <laughs> It's really easy just to build up your image with these chipboard images because they're just thick enough. It's cool that you can just buy a packet and they all sort of work together. It's no fuss and I love that there's no fussy cutting. All right, I'm going to play off camera because I think this is going to take me a little while and then um, we'll be back for the next step. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. So what I do here is I like to take a photo. Um, so then I can use it as a reference when it comes time to gluing everything down. So now I'm just going to take everything out off and pop them in their own little um, piles. So I know whose is who, and then um, we might pop a border around this now. 
All right, so I've grabbed out my Distress Crayon in Vintage Photo and I'm just running around the edges and smudging it out. You can use anything that you've got. You can use a crayon, you could use um, paint or ink, just something I think looks really nice just to frame it. And I really love these um, Distress Crayons. They just make edging really easily and easy and they smudge out really nicely. Yeah, I think that this is an effective background and it was really quick to achieve such a nice result. Hoping that my kids like them. Personally, I think simple things really give such a wonderful result. I mean, you know, you can overcomplicate things with layers and layers of different techniques and different items, but sometimes it's just the simple, simple backgrounds that work really well. All right, I'm going to heat up this heat tool and glue everything down. You don't need to watch that. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so everything's glued down um, and gee, you know, isn't it fantastic that you get all your little bits and pieces in the same die cut packet and you can just grab out one thing and make a, make a picture and different layers and it's so easy. So I'm just going to pop on a button. I'll glue these down. Get rid of the um, glue goobers. Okay, I'm going to find some um, thread and then I'll be back. Just using some dyed ribbon. It looks like seam binding, but it's a bit shinier than seam binding. I bought this years ago for my artist teddy bears. Years ago, I used to make artist teddy bears, so. And these stars are Tim Holtz. I picked up the other day. Pop the ribbon on. And then I'll pop a star on this one too. That just ties in the buttons. I'm going to clean up my work surface and call it done and I'll give you a closer look. And here we are all finished. I have to say, I love them. They were so much fun to make. They were rather a quick um, project and I think that my kids are going to love them. So there's lots of texture and interest and just building up the different pieces of chipboard really made for a quick and easy um, focal point. I'm really happy with them. I think that they'll use them as a bookmark or, uh, I don't know, even as a little decoration. I hope that they like them. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which is your favourite. I can't choose between the cat and the mouse. I think they're both really sweet. Um, I think Stamp. Perea has done a really great job. Please be sure to hit the like button um, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. It really helps my small channel and new channel get off the ground. Um, thanks so much for watching till the end. Bye for now.